Once again to the beautiful glorious Peak District, more specifically Mam Tor and the Great Ridge. So I'm out for a short wander today with my partner Lisa and some of her friends from work and we've parked the car down in Hope and as you've just seen we've walked along through the valley through Castleton up the old broken road just there, the old road to Buxton and had a quick stop at the, the Blue John Cafe for a coffee it was open so it would have been rude not to stop for a coffee and then we've had lunch overlooking the beautiful uh, valley here but it's really turned out into a nice day it was, it was looking quite threatening at first there was a lot of rain about but now it's beautiful so we'll have a wander or a glance down into the Vale of Edale So now we're going to walk along the Great Ridge, over Back Tor, over Luss Hill, and then back down to the car at Hope. Did you know him? Do we know him? How did you put him on here? Drop your poles so they're not dangling in the air. So it really has turned into a beautiful day now. This is going to be a relatively short video, just encapturing this little route that we're doing today. It's going to be about nine or ten miles. I promised them it was about eight miles, but uh, it's a little bit further than that. But the Vale of Edale now, looking absolutely stunning. Grindslow Knoll, just there on top of Kinder, Edale, Grindsbrook. Over there is uh, Crookston Knoll and then over towards Hope Cross. But we're now heading up onto the final hill of the day, Luss Hill. And we're gonna get some amazing views, no doubt. Okay, so I'm actually running View Ranger on the Apple Watch today. This is the first time that I've used View Ranger itself on the watch, and it's actually quite good. Very simple, just tells you what you need to know for the route that you're following. I've already plotted it out in the phone and if you're following it in the phone it automatically recognizes and gives you the arrow to follow on your watch tells you height and various other things distance and it integrates with the watch quite nicely hopefully when the iOS or watch OS 2 comes out there'll be some extra features and I'll let you know about those as and when they arrive So this is it, Luss Hill, I think 
it, uh, it commands one of the greatest views in the Peak District. You can pretty much see everything in this part of the peaks here. The crystal maze. The crystal dome. The last like few steps. Crystal maze deal. Okay, so we're back at the car now. It was a really great wander. And I've been saying it throughout the afternoon, but it really has turned into a great day. Absolutely beautiful. Glorious you might say. So the walk in total has been around about nine miles. I'll give you some more details on screen as to how far it is. In the description, there'll be a link to the track log or a route file so you can follow along yourself. As always, thanks for watching, subscribing, liking, commenting, everything that goes with it. And I'll see you on the next video, but it will be tomorrow. I'm off out wild camping. Bye for now. Can you hear this place is calling?